Megatron, what's the goal of weightlifting is to improve performance on the field, right? So imagine that you didn't, you don't, you don't, you, that you could do workouts. Imagine that everywhere is your workout. So everywhere that you are, that's the place where you could train to be a better soccer player, right? Because there's some essential, there's some essential soccer training tools that you don't need to be in a gym to use, right? So. I want to start with a few questions. The first question is, and I say it in almost every single one of my videos is, have you been taught how to breathe? And the reason why this is so, so important because most soccer players haven't. So if right now, if you take a deep breath, right, take a deep breath. And if your deep breath, if your shoulders went up in the air, if your deep breath went like this, if you went, then you want to check out this video. It's called how to breathe by Dr. Vranich. V-R-A-N-I-C-H. This is gonna improve your endurance. It's gonna improve your stamina. It's gonna help you be more relaxed on the field in high pressure situations, also, also off the field. So, right, if you could only take away one thing from this video, search How to Breathe by Dr. Vranich. Right, this is gonna lay down a foundation of breathing for the rest of your life. And the reason why that's important, they say three minutes without air, right, you'd be dead. If it's three minutes without air, three hours, uh, in a in an unhospitable environment and then three weeks without food and water so three minutes right is the breathing is the most important thing right so if we pretend so 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 right if if everywhere that you are right if let's say you just remove having to go to the gym as part of the equation not that not that I, I don't think that you should go to the gym more just in the sense that okay let's say you know you want to you want to remove the gym as a necessary requirement for you improving in soccer, right? Does that make sense? So it's like, okay, if I remove if I just remove the gym, what are the most essential things? I'm not saying don't do weight training. I'm saying just just removing the location, having to go there. What can I do every single day that's going to elevate my game to where I'm you know whooping whooping my cousin's butt or, or something? You know, I think that's what you're talking about, be, being your cousin. So soccer players are, are humans first, soccer players second. And so what that means is that the more that you improve your ability to move on the field, field if you improve agility, timing, rhythm, coordination, and balance, if you can do those things in a low effort way, then that means that when you step on the field, you're just gonna be uh, quicker, you're going to be more explosive, you're gonna be stronger on the ball, and you're just gonna be dangerous. So if you search um, search how to make an RMT rope, this is a rope, just a soft piece of rope you get at your local hardware store. It's a, ideally you want it to be as long as you are tall, right? So I'm five, five nine, five ten on a good day. This is about a six foot rope. So as the beauty of it is that The beauty of it is that as you swing it around, it's like low effort, it's low effort strength training, right? You're getting, you're improving your balance, you're Im improving where your body is in time and space. So it's it's different from weightlifting, right? Because weightlifting, you have a period of, you need to recover from it. Um, you know, you're actually moving, physically moving weights in different ranges of motion. And I'm not saying weightlifting's bad. I spend a lot of time weightlifting. But what I'm saying is, if you lay, if you stack this RMT rope and a movement, a movement base on top of, on top of that breathing, you're going to find yourself, you're just going to be feeling more nimble. You're going to be feeling, um, you're going to be feeling different when you step on the field because, because this helps you get into so many different ranges of motion and it's going to help you unlock freedom in your movement in a way that you haven't before. It just trains you to move effortlessly and it's going to make you a better soccer player, bar none. Right. Let me just say this one more time. There's no other better training tool for soccer, for, for soccer players than an RMT rope. An RMT rope is the best way to improve the quality of your movement as a soccer player. Right. The inventor says, if you want, if you want to improve, you want to learn this, what's called this alternating underhand sneak because it improves your running mechanics. It makes you more explosive. It helps you prevent injuries. Um, so for all those reasons, 
right? You, you don't have to learn it right off the bat, but you just wanna start, you wanna make one and then just start swinging it around, right? And this is a perfect warm up tool before the gym. This is a perfect warm up tool before, uh, before practice, before games. Um, so, so just getting familiar with it and swinging it around. You might have a jump rope at your house. That could work, right? Uh, RMT ropes can do what jump ropes do, but some jump ropes can't do what RMT ropes do. But for the time being, a jump rope is a, a tool that you can is a tool that that will um, that can work for the time being. The next thing, the next thing is a simple question: is can I bring a ball with me everywhere I go? I call this a soccer vacation, and what that's going to do is. It's gonna allow. It's gonna give you the opportunity to get more touches. The more touches you get, the more mistakes you make. The more you'll you'll learn. So just by bringing a tennis ball or a size one ball with me everywhere, you could start to just get more touches dribbling, get more touches juggling. Right? Who who doesn't have a who who doesn't have um, a few minutes a day or just one minute a day to juggle? Even if you're stressed, even if you're low on energy, even if you're low on time, everyone's got one minute to just. Uh, throw, kick, throw, thigh catch, throw, thigh catch, throw, thigh, thigh catch, right? Nice and easy, right? Use the ground to your advantage, kick it up, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, right? Just nice and easy, kick, kick, thigh catch, right? So one minute a day, you can do this. And then for dribbling, one minute a day, can you learn the Tom Turnbull dribbling sequence, which goes outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. If you repeat that sequence for one minute a day to build a habit, that's going to really improve your dribbling abilities. If you can improve your dribbling abilities, your awareness is going to go up on the field because now you can pick your head up you could see, see see the field, make good passes, take good shots. So, right, you wanna do this s slow, right? Slow and smooth. S slow is smooth, smooth is fast. The slower you, you do this in practice, the more effective you're gonna be when it comes to games because you're gonna have it internalized. Right, and you wanna say it out loud when you do it. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. One minute a day, over and over and over. Lastly, I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but this is another tool that can really help improve your game, right? Clubs from all over the world encourage their players to use this. This is called a kick trainer, right? AC Milan, Ajax, Sevilla, uh, Wesley Snyder talks about using this a lot growing up. So it's, right, it's just gonna help you cram months of training into days or weeks because in 60 seconds, you could get 60 touches, which means in 10 to 15 minutes kicking it, you can get close to a thousand touches effortlessly. And, and if you're just developing your striking technique and your first touch, um, it's ideal for, for, for new players because you're not spending a lot of time chasing the ball, right? It's just right here. And if you miss hit it, you can immediately recorrect, right? There's immediate feedback that allows you just to get a lot better, a lot faster, right? You don't need to go to a wall. You don't need to use a rebounder, right? You don't need a training partner. Everything is just right here to get a lot of touches and work on your balance, timing, rhythm, coordination, right? So it's just a simple tool that can really elevate your game. This is an SKLZ kick trainer, but you can make one yourself. Um, size one ball, some rope, right? Some rope, maybe a little shorter than your hip bone to your ankle and some duct tape, right? Someone told me they, they put a tennis ball on the end of a jump rope. So there's a lot of ways you could make a kick trainer. So I'm gonna stop there because, you know, the, the, just with those things I suggested, learning how to breathe, RMT rope, and then bringing a ball everywhere you go. If you just tried, if you just started to do any one of those things, you're gonna see an elevation, an improvement in, in your game. So give those a start. And, um, and then let's 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 see where you go from there. All right, thank you.